Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at times. Times is a static method that will pass in each of the values in a collection to your callback. So let's dive in to our first example. Now, as I mentioned before, times is a static method. So you would call it in the following manner. You'll say collection, and that's illuminate support collection. Notice it is imported up here. And then you call the times method. The first argument to times is how many times it's going to call your callback. So let's say three times. And then as a second argument is your actual callback. So we'll say function. We'll have a value. Now the value that we would be accepting at this point would just be a dummy array that will contain one, two, three. And then for the example, let's go ahead and return 10. Let's check out what that gives us. That gives us a collection that has three items in it. And of course we return 10 each of the times. So we get 10, 10, and 10. So how is this any useful? Well, straight out of the documentation, it recommends you do something like this whenever you need any fake data. It's very useful with factories. So let me show you an example of that. Let's return and we'll say factory. Now Laravel ships with a user class and it also ships with a user migration. So I know that this will work just fine. And then let's call the make method, right? Typically you would call the create method, but I'm not interested in saving it to the database. So let's make and let's see what we get. So it's a little difficult to see right now, but we did get back three users. I'm gonna attach another method here, just two array. There we are. So this is a lot easier to see. We have three users, one, two, and three. So if you needed to whip up three quick users, this would be one way of doing it. Now, if you're familiar with Laravel, you're probably thinking, why don't you just pass in three as a second argument to your factory call? And of course you could. However, this gives you granular control over each of these users that are being created. So we can pass in an array and then let's override the name. And I'm actually going to use this value just for dummy. And I'm going to set that equal to a string that is going to be the value. And then we'll say cool name. Very silly example, but there it is. So now we have control over each of the iterations of this factory creation. So our first one says one cool name, two cool name and three cool name. If you were to pass in three as a second argument to your factory, it would generate three in a row. However, it doesn't give you any control over each of those methods. It simply calls faker three times and generates three different users for you. And you have no control over that. So whenever you need granular control, this is the way to do it. Again, you call the times method on your collection and you do need to call it as a static method as we've done here. And then the first argument is going to be how many times you're going to use your callback. And then the second argument, of course, is your callback. In our case, our callback is going to return a user in which we've overwritten the name field. So that is the static method times in the Laravel collection.